Chapter 4 Communicating in a Teamwork Environment In this chapter we will become familiar with those teamwork workspace features which provide feedback and information about the other members of the design team who are also simultaneously working on the shared teamwork project. We will also learn about the instant messaging capabilities of ARCHICAD teamwork and discover how these can help collaboration between team members. We will also find out how to deal with the various project and element attributes in the teamwork environment. In the interim, we will continue developing the construction documentation. We will do some modifications to the site plan and work on the reflected ceiling plan of the office building. Step 1. Teamwork functions with multiple users. In this step we will start working on the same teamwork project with two team members. In this training guide we will achieve this by opening another instance of ARCHICAD on the same computer and log into the project in the name of a different team member. Certainly in a real-life environment every member of the team will log into the teamwork project from their own workstation. We will experience just how fast the reservation feedback of ARCHICAD teamwork really can be. We will also investigate how this reservation feedback is affected by the online or offline status of the team members. Activate the file Open MS Building TW Menu command to open the previously used ARCHICAD teamwork project file. We have joined this instance of the teamwork project in the name of Mary Jones, the lead architect of the project. Please make sure that the Show Reservation by Users option is selected for colored workspaces in the teamwork palette. Double click to activate the 4.1.1 Reservation 1 preset view located in the Chapter 4 folder of the Navigator view map. We will now open another instance of ARCHICAD and join the same teamwork project in the name of the draftsman of the team. We will see how two or more team members can work on the same project using the rich feature set offered by the ARCHICAD teamwork environment. Activate the File, Open, Open or Join Teamwork Project menu command. The Open Teamwork Project dialog will open. Click the Users button in the upper right corner of the dialog and select the different user option from the list. The Login dialog opens. In the Choose BIM Server to Work On field, select your local computer name. Enter the name of the draftsman, Joe Smith in our case, whom we already added to the project in a previous chapter. Fill out the password field. In our case, the password is identical to the username. Finally, click OK to proceed. The name of the server will appear in the Choose BIM Server field. The name of the teamwork projects available on this BIM server for the current team member is displayed in the list. Currently, only the MS Building TW project appears in the list as this is the only teamwork project at the moment on this server. Click this project to select it and make sure to check the Launch New Instance of ARCHICAD checkbox at the bottom of the dialog. We will have two different instances of ARCHICAD running on our computer. In each case, a different team member will be working on the same teamwork project. We will see how they can communicate with each other in the ARCHICAD teamwork environment. Click the Join button to join the teamwork project as Joe Smith, the draftsman of the team. The Welcome to Teamwork dialog appears, which gives you some information about the ARCHICAD teamwork environment. Check the Do Not Show This Dialog Next Time checkbox, and then click OK to proceed. A new ARCHICAD instance has started, and the previously used teamwork project has opened. We've logged into the project in the name of the draftsman, Joe Smith.
Double-click to activate the 4.1.1 Reservation 1 preset view of the Navigator view map in this ARCHICAD instance as well. Let's have a closer look at the Users panel of the Teamwork palette. As you can see now, both Mary Jones and Joe Smith are listed as users. Both team members are online as it is displayed by the icons before their names, and both of them have their own color to ease the identification of their workspace and their reserved elements. Make sure that the Show Reservation by Users option is selected for colored workspaces in the Teamwork palette. Resize both instances of ARCHICAD so that both are visible on the screen side by side. Please make sure that both ARCHICAD projects display the floor plan view so that all changes will be visible immediately. We will show how fast the element reservations are propagated between the team members. The title bar of the floor plan view displays the name of the team member to whom it belongs. Switch to the ARCHICAD Teamwork project opened by Mary Jones, since we want to continue the work in the name of the lead architect. Switch to the wall tool in the toolbox and activate the Edit Select All Walls command to select all the walls. Switch to the Column tool in the toolbox and activate the Edit Select All Columns to add all columns to the selection set. Let's reserve all the selected walls and columns for Mary Jones by clicking the Reserve button in the Teamwork palette. Please check the results of this action in the other instance of the ARCHICAD project used by Joe Smith. As you can see, all the walls and columns reserved by Mary Jones have instantly changed color in the ARCHICAD instance of Joe Smith. This is an instant sign for Joe that these elements belong to Mary's workspace for now. The local ARCHICAD Teamwork project has a real-time connection with the Graphisoft BIM server. All design information is sent and received instantly to all the members of the team. Please note that element reservation information is handled in real-time by the BIM server. Modifications to elements are updated only after issuing the Sending and Receiving Changes command. Press the Escape key to deselect the wall and column selected by Mary. Let's now switch to the ARCHICAD workspace of Joe Smith. Click to activate the Slab tool in the toolbox. and choose the Edit, Select All Slabs command to select all slabs in the floor plan. Click the Reserve button on the Teamwork palette to reserve the selected slabs. Notice that the reserved slabs change color in the ARCHICAD workspace of Mary Jones, indicating that these elements belong to Joe Smith for now. Press Escape to deselect the slabs. Click to activate the arrow tool in the toolbox in the ARCHICAD instance of Joe Smith. Hover your cursor over one of the slabs you just reserved and wait for the info tag to appear. Notice that the top line of the info tag says Editable. This means that this element is currently reserved by Joe and can be freely modified by him. Hover your cursor over any of the walls and columns reserved by Mary Jones. These elements are displayed in Mary's workspace color. Wait for the info tag to appear.
Notice that the top line of the info tag says reserved by Mary Jones. Hover your cursor over any non-reserved element such as a grid element and check the info tag again. In this case, the top line of the info tag says free for reservation. In short, the info tag is another way of checking the reservation status of any element even when the colored workspaces are not activated. Let's see how the online and offline status affects the reservation of the elements. Click the right pointing arrow at the upper right corner of the teamwork palette of Joe Smith and select the work offline option. Joe Smith is now in offline mode and his ArchiCAD instance is not connected to the Graphisoft BIM server. Let's switch to the ArchiCAD instance of Mary Jones who is still online. We will now release all elements reserved by her and check what happens in the offline workspace belonging to Joe Smith. Click the Release All button in the Workspace panel of her Teamwork palette. A warning dialog will be displayed, prompting you to send all modifications to the BIM server when releasing these elements. Select the Send and Release All option to proceed. All changes made by Mary are not sent to the BIM server until all her elements are released. In her ArchiCAD instance, the Color Workspace feature immediately shows that there are no elements reserved by her. Let's switch to the ArchiCAD instance of Joe Smith. Notice that his offline workspace shows that the walls and columns are still reserved by Mary Jones. Element reservation information in Teamwork can only be updated when the team member is online. For this, three conditions must be met. The BIM server must be running. Your workstation must be connected to the server. And you must be in online status. Notice that because of the offline status of Joe Smith, all the buttons on the Teamwork palette are grayed. Let's take Joe Smith back online now. Click the right pointing arrow at the upper right corner of the Teamwork palette and uncheck the Work Offline toggle. As soon as Joe Smith gets online, he will immediately see that the walls and columns are no longer reserved by Mary. Please open the Messages panel in Joe's Teamwork palette since we will continue with instant messaging in the next step.